Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the 11 best quality stocks to buy right now. And full disclaimer, I hold every single stock that is on this list, because I think these are absolutely phenomenal companies to hold over the long term. So for more videos just like this one on the best stocks to buy right now, go and smash that like button right now, comment any stocks that you're buying right now, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. So the first company that we're going to talk about is Lockheed Martin Corporation, ticker symbol LMT. This stock currently trades at $482 per share, while professionals believe the company should be trading anywhere between $361 on the low end and $550 on the high end. Now if this share price seems too high for you, always make sure you're using a brokerage that offers fractional shares or share slices. This way you can invest into this company for as little as one dollar. This company is a government contractor which specializes in aerospace, arms dealing, defense, as well as information security technology, and they have an amazing global presence. On top of that, this company is not only a great growth company, but they also offer a great dividend for a growth company coming in at 2.63 for their dividend yield. Recently, Lockheed Martin was upgraded by various professionals from a neutral rating to an outperform rating to where now their price target comes in at $513. So overall, this is a phenomenal company to have in your portfolio, and that's why I personally have it in mine. In this video, we're going to be going over a plethora of various growth stocks as well as dividend stocks, so you can get great, stable, quality companies that will be able to make you money no matter the stock market environment. Because while the growth stocks are falling, the stable companies that offer dividends are going to give you passive cash flow. While on the other hand, if we're in a bull market, the growth companies are going to absolutely explode. Which will lead us to our next company, which is actually a dividend company, and that's the Coca-Cola company, ticker symbol KO. The current share price for this company is $63 per share, while experts believe the company should be trading between $60 and $77. If you're not familiar with the Coca-Cola company, they are a global beverage company. And recently, a UBS analyst maintained a buy rating on this company, while also increasing their price target from $63 to $68. What many investors like about this company is that Coca-Cola has a long history of, of increasing their overall annual dividend, which currently stands at 2.74%. So overall, this is another very high quality, stable dividend yielding company. Up next, we have the best of both worlds, but I would classify it much more as a growth stock, and that is Costco Wholesale Corporation, ticker symbol COST, ticker name COST. This company currently trades at $483 per share, while analysts believe the company should be trading between $455 to $678. Costco is actually the third largest retailer in the entire world, and recently Bank of America actually added Costco to their US-1 list. But what is the US-1 list? Well, the US-1 list is a conglomeration of companies on a particular list that rank as the best investments across all sectors during this time period, which means that this company is set to perform very strongly throughout the next year, mainly due to their competitive pricing and their low-priced private label brands, which they offer through their wholesaling. On top of that, this company is a phenomenal growth stock that also gives investors a dividend yield of 0.68. So overall, another fantastic company that I have in my personal portfolio. Up next, we have Nike Inc., ticker symbol NKE, which trades at $108 per share. While professionals believe the company trades anywhere between $77 on the low end and $185 on the high end. These would be their price predictions from both bearish analysts as well as bullish analysts. Nike is most known for their footwear, their apparel, their accessories, as well as their sports equipment. And Nike has impressed investors as of late by increasing their overall dividend yield by around 11% to where now you're getting around 34 cents per share which you own. And they've actually raised their annual dividend yield for the past 15 years in a row. On top of that, many professionals have actually increased their price prediction and price target for Nike to where 
it's set to outperform the overall market with a solid price rating of $99 over the next 12 months. So if anything, this company could definitely retain and maintain its overall value even if the stock market starts to fall. Next, we have another company that I really like. However, I do think it's somewhat overvalued and that's going to be Eli Lilly and Company, ticker symbol LLY. This company is a very well-known pharmaceutical company that was founded all the way back in 1876 and it currently trades at $371 per share. However, the price targets surrounding this stock have actually increased substantially because originally we had a price target of $345 which was then raised to $375 and because $375 is still above their current stock price of around $371, this company comes in at a great buy rating. On top of that, they also offer you a good dividend for a growth company coming in at 1.05%. So overall, a very solid company indeed, which has great future growth prospects. Up next, we have another very prominent dividend yielding company, and that's none other than Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol JNJ. This company is another pharmaceutical company, which also specializes in medical devices as well as consumer goods. J&J currently trades at $177 per share, while experts in this field believe that they should be trading closer to around $200, on top of giving their investors a dividend yield of 2.5%. 8% as a forward dividend because this is an absolute dividend king which increases their overall dividends year over year. So if you want more passive income and higher cash flows in the future then Johnson & Johnson is always a safe company to invest into mainly because they're extremely quality and very stable while also giving you that passive income in the form of cash flows which come through their dividends. The next company we're going to talk about because now we're breaking into the top five and that's going to be a very well-known growth company named NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. This company is trading at $161 per share, while analysts believe the company should be trading between $110 at the lowest and $320 at the highest. This company, like I said, is a very well-known growth company, which is known as one of the market leaders in terms of their graphic processing units, also known as GPUs. This company also has a very low dividend because it's such a good growth stock of only 0.1, and that would be their dividend yield, but their overall growth is amazing. For instance, a Needham analyst recently increased their price target from $155 all the way up to $200 per share, and clearly they reiterated a buy rating for this company despite negative macroeconomic factors that are going on right now. The main reason for this price target increase was due to their absolutely astounding quarter three 2022 results, because overall their financials were really, really strong, and that's why I personally have this company in my portfolio. Up next, we have a very underrated company, in my opinion, that a lot of investors don't seem to know about, and that is S&P Global Inc., ticker symbol SPGI. This company trades at $350 per share, while many investors think this company is radically undervalued, at least the investors that know about this company. This is a phenomenal credit rating agency that should be worth at least $375, according to investor opinion, and at maximum, around $434, so clearly there is great growth ahead of this company, and they also offer a pretty good dividend yield for a growth company coming in at 0.94, so at least you're getting some sort of passive income. Analysts also agree that this company is somewhat undervalued, and they even increased their overall price predictions and forecasts for this company because originally it was $356 as their price target, but then they changed their mind and increased that to $386 as their new price target due to very strong quarter three 2022 results. So if you haven't looked into this company for yourself, I would highly recommend you doing that before you make any investment decision. But again, this is a company I personally own in my portfolio, even during the current stock market environment. Now we're going to get into even more well-known blue chip companies. And if you don't already own Apple, what are you doing? The next company on this list is Apple Inc., ticker symbol AAPL, which currently trades at $140 per share. Meanwhile, analysts believe the company should be trading between $122 and 
$214, which is very realistic in my opinion, and it also gives us a dividend yield of 0.64. If you're not familiar with this company, and I don't know why you wouldn't be, however, Apple is a gigantic technology company, and they have outperformed many other mega cap rivals over the last few years. On top of that, Apple is expected to overcome recent supply chain issues, and as they actually overcome this obstacle, in the near future, their share price is set to grow and regain their amazing growth trajectory, and that's why many professionals in the space reiterated a buy rating for this company, while also giving it a price target as high as $200 per share from very reputable analysts. So even though this is a growth behemoth company, it still has further upside potential which it can give investors. Next we have the company MasterCard Incorporated, ticker symbol MA. And MasterCard is a payment processing company and it's actually the second largest payment processing company in the entire world. Currently they trade at $348 per share, while experts in this space believe the company should be trading at $310 at minimum and $472 at the maximum. The company also gives a decent dividend of 0.56 for their dividend yield, but what else could you expect from such a great growth stock? On top of that, a city analyst issued a price target of $400 per share, and they give it four and a half out of five stars across the board, maintaining their buy rating for this particular company. On top of that, analysts also think that there is still significant upside potential in this company well after the next year, because these price targets, if you're not familiar with how analysts arrive at their price targets or the duration of their price targets, these are 12 month or one year price targets. And normally they're calculated through a DCF model based upon future financial projections while also discounting future cash flows. And overall, your portfolio will thank you later for it. But it also should beg the question, what's the largest payment processing company in the world? But I'll leave that to your own research because I also own the largest payment processing company in the world in my portfolio as well as MasterCard. Lastly, the number one stock coming in right now is Microsoft Corporation, ticker symbol MSFT. This company currently trades at $244 per share, while analysts think this company should be trading between $234 and $411. The company also offers a good dividend for a growth company coming in at 1.04 as their dividend yield. Microsoft Corporation is an extremely diversified technology company, and they're also expanding their overall presence in the gaming industry because they are trying to acquire Activision Blizzard for around $68.7 billion. But right now, that deal is currently in the middle of regulatory approval. And I actually talked about this over a year ago and how this is great news for Microsoft as well as Activision because I was a heavy investor into Activision Blizzard before I even knew that Microsoft wanted to buy them out. However, with this acquisition, which hopefully will go underway and we won't have many problems according to regulatory approval, Microsoft was assigned a outperform rating for this overall company. And I can only imagine what this company is going to make of itself in the future and what other companies it could acquire. So with that being said, I would love to hear your thoughts down below about the stocks that you are buying right now. Remember to go and smash that like button for more videos just like this one. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next YT video.